G'day guys, Solid here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to a new carport and that means a new video series. This was inspired from a heap of comments I got on my previous video. A lot of you said and really it made me quite happy. I want something affordable, lightweight and capable off-road. Something like a Tenere 300 or a Tenere 400. So we're going to do I Wish You Were Here series. We're going to talk about hypothetical bikes that we would love to see on the market that just aren't being made for whatever reason. So I wanted to talk about what Yamaha would need to do and whether it is realistically achievable to make a Yamaha Tenere 300. So let's just jump straight in. first thing we need to identify, I think, is whether this bike is a complete pipe dream or whether the Tenere 300 actually has some hope in hell of making it to the production line. We only have one piece of information from Yamaha that suggests that they even thought about making this bike. And that was from Fabrizio Corsi. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He's the product communications manager at Yamaha. And he said that Yamaha was contemplating building a Tenere 300 if public response for a T300 was really strong. Of course, that was in 2020 and we've heard nothing since. So take what you will from that statement, but at least we have on record that Yamaha has talked about the existence of a smaller Tenere. Now let's identify whether this can practically be put together. And the answer to that is yes. We have an engine out of the MT-03 and the R3. It's a parallel twin fuel injected motor. It makes 42 horsepower at about 10.7K RPM. And it makes about 30 Newton meters of torque at about just over 9,000 RPM. So the motor exists. And we also have precedent of Yamaha making multiple bikes based off one engine and one frame. So the second thing I wanted to talk about is the manufacturer's reasons for not making small bikes like the Tenere 300 adventure bike. And it really frustrates me when they say, we didn't really want to make the bike because we don't think the market was there, or we observed X, Y, or Z bike on the market and they really weren't having the sales that we expected they would have, therefore we canned this idea. And one of the big problems I really think that happens from this statement, particularly in the small displacement adventure and dual sport market, is that a lot of the time it's the manufacturer's faults for why these bikes didn't do well. It's not that the market isn't there. And this is precisely the problem I've spotted in the market. And that's that manufacturers really just dip their toes into the water. They don't really go in wholeheartedly and make a proper competent off-road adventure bike. They always go half-heartedly, throw on cast wheels, the minimum amount of travel with the stingiest suspension, and the things usually weigh almost as much as a big adventure bike. So you're left with people going, I don't really want that. I think straight out of the gate, it needs a 21 inch, 18 inch wheel combo, and those wheels need to be spoked to give it the best hope of really tackling the serious off-road sections. The other big thing this bike needs, particularly for me here in Australia, is a decent fuel range. I really appreciate it when a manufacturer gives me a motorcycle straight off the showroom floor with 400 kilometers of range. The next thing this bike really needs is decent long travel suspension. It doesn't have to be super sleek, high-end suspension with all the adjustability. It just has to be competent, be able to handle the weight of an average bloke. We need a decent amount of clearance and we need a decent amount of travel and have a little bit of adjustability as well. Something more than just preload. Another thing I want to see on there is a fairly sturdy subframe. Make this bike capable of hauling luggage and please make the subframe removable. Don't weld it onto the frame like what is on my CRF300L. Am I worried that it will break? Not really, but it really is just one of those contingency things, they really need to focus on tuning this bike to at least give it some decent torque down low and bring the horsepower peak down lower in the rev range as well. I was going to put a six speed on the list of needs, but we really don't need to worry about that. The native gearbox mated to this motor is a six speed box. So we're going to get that whether you wanted it or not. Affordability is a big one. I think Yamaha need to focus on here. I don't need to tell you guys how many stupidly huge overweight adventure bikes are just costing the amount of a small moon these days. We need a bike that is not only simple and off-road capable, but affordable. And this Tenere 300 really could be that bike. If they keep the technology low, have what it needs with switchable ABS, but we don't need 80 different riding
running modes and a coffee shop on the back of the thing. We just need simple reliability, off-road capability, and an ease of use that is welcoming to all kinds of riders. If Yamaha can do that whilst keeping it reasonably affordable, I think this bike will really be a hit. The final thing on the list of needs is probably the most important thing, and that's weight. Please keep it down. Keep this as close to the CRF 300 Rally's weight as you can get. Of course, I'm not completely naive. This is a parallel twin. It's gonna have more moving pieces. That means more weight. If you can keep it between the CRF 300 Rally's weight and say a DR 650's weight, I think that would be absolutely amazing. And this is one of those areas where most manufacturers cheap out and give us a heavy pig instead, which really frustrates me. I could probably put a thousand other things on the list, but I really wanted to go into the fundamental mental things I think would make a fantastic small displacement adventure bike. Put your wishes down below. What do you want to see from this Tenere 300? And who knows, if this video gets enough traction, maybe someone from Yamaha will finally see the light and make the damn thing. Probably not, but we can cross our fingers and pray to the adventure and dual sport gods. And until next time, guys, I've been solid. Don't forget to stay shiny side up and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later, guys.